Good morning. How is everybody doing? Happy Saturday Easter or happy Easter Sabbath. Okay, we got one more day to go. Easter Sunday was the day that he resurrected. That he rose from the grave so that we can have a new life in him. I'm getting on live right now because I'm on my way to church this morning. So um, I won't be able to go live at 10 o'clock. But I just wanted to get on and say happy Sabbath Easter to you. Oh, happy Easter Sabbath. Excuse me, I'm saying it wrong. Happy Easter Sabbath. And um, just know that Jesus did this for you. This is not something where we just dress up. You know, yeah, I look pretty. I'm going to put on a little pic a little bit later. But um, yeah, we look pretty and we're all dressed up and, and stuff. But it's not about the dressing up. It's about God coming into your life through his son's death. And changing your life and dressing your life up and dressing my life up. So I just thank God for Jesus. As my grandmother used to say, she would always say, thank God for Jesus. She would just be doing something and then come out with that. You know what I mean? I'm talking about my mother's mother, Nana. The, those of uh, my family members, they know what I'm talking about. She would always say that. And, um, I just thank God for what he did for us on the cross, what he suffered. He suffered so much. He suffered so much. And the father suffered too, along with his son. And he suffers along with us when we suffer. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for this day. I pray that you have a clear minded day. I pray that God um, illuminate your mind, give you revelation of what he wants for your life. What he wants for you. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to not just change your life so it's better. He wants you to know him. You understand? It's not about religion and going to church on a certain day or none of that. He didn't come for us to go to church on a certain day. He came so that we would know life and have it more abundantly. And that our sin nature would be changed. That we would be changed by the Holy Ghost born again. And to have his fruit growing in us every day. I always tell you it's like a little kid, a baby that's born a girl or a boy. And they, the notifications come up. And they um, have, they're in the mother's womb and they're, they're a seed. We're a seed when we're born. And that seed has everything in it to be what God made it to be. I had everything in me in my mother's womb as a seed, as a little tiny being, that's what I call it. I, I, I don't know about fetus and embryo and no, I'm a being, but I'm, I'm got to grow into who God has made me to be, which is a woman, which is Laurel, you know? So, um, that's the way the Christian life is. It's, it's growing in God. It's understanding where he's taking you and your purpose and sharing him with others. All right. So have a wonderful day. God bless your day. And um, I will see you later. Maybe I might get on later. Um, but definitely tomorrow I am going to be on. All right. And I'm probably going to be on um, early in the morning, probably around seven ish. Okay. All right then. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care. I love you. But Jesus loves you more. I don't know who's watching, but I'm getting ready to go to church. And I just got on to encourage and to say to you that Jesus loves you and he did this for you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.